Hello, so for today's video, we're going to be doing a look inspired by Florence Pugh. Um, I'll leave the little image here of what it looks like. So I'm going to see Dune 2 tonight at the cinema. And I thought, what better way to sort of utilise this look? Because obviously it was at the premiere. Um, I'll also tag and put a little picture here of her makeup artist. And also the products that he used for the look, just in case you want to use those. Obviously I'm not going to use that, that's why it's inspired and also I'm pretty sure most of them were like Louis Vuitton and I don't know, their, their makeup just doesn't do anything for me. So it's not like I would sort of go out my way, even like I might go out and be like, oh that's nice, I'll buy like the lipstick or something but I'm not doing that. So yeah. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So my brows and skin prep are already done, everything's listed in the bottom bar. So I'm going to move on to the eyes. So for eyelid primer I'm going to take the Smashbox, this is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I said it before and I say it again, Smashbox no longer selling in the UK. Um, I'm pretty sure the closest sort of dupe for this would be MAC. Some, it's like their 24 hour shadow primer, it looks like this but it's all black packaging because obviously it's MAC. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Then for eyeshadow palettes today, we're gonna take the Patrick Tar. This is the major, yeah, major dimensions uh, volume three palette. So this is what she looks like, and then she's literally all matte palette inside. So you do get two little creams. You literally flip the thing open and toss it back. But we're not gonna use uh, any of the creams in the palette today. I sort of, I think we're gonna stick to sort of these three shades because um, she's got like this sort of uh, cut crease neutral eye sort of going on um, so obviously we're going to stick with that so we're going to take this shade here first which I think is oops, uh, literally as soon as I take my glasses off I'm really blind uh, irreplaceable so we're going to take that on a Spectrum and KJ Hughes number 17 brush um, I don't know how pigmented these are I usually do have a little towel in front of me just to sort of dab it off, but I'm just dabbing it off on my knee. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take this. Oh my god, eyelash hair there. I'm just gonna take this through the crease, blend it quite far back. I'm just gonna also zoom you in a little bit. And then to blend it out a little bit further, I'm gonna take the Spectrum NKJ Hughes. This is the number 11 brush. Just sort of thin this for it. So now that we've just got one of those shades on, we're now going to cut the crease. So I'm going to take the um, Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in Fair One. I don't like this concealer, I just use it just to cut the crease. So I'm just going to take this on the back of my hand. Yeah. And I'm going to take, this is a Peaches and Cream, this is a PC51 brush. Um, you can sort of just draw the line in, you don't have to necessarily do this step, it's just what I do to sort of just perfect the eye, um, because I'm just not that skilled, uh, so this is what I do. So, taking that concealer with this brush, I really pack it on, so literally back and forth, so back and front. So basically it's on both sides of the brushes, so I'm just flipping it over and making sure that it's coated. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. So just take this, put it on, look up, and then where we have this line is where we're gonna cut our crease to. So literally just keep packing this along. So I'm just gonna sort of finish it where my eye sort of sits, which is like here. Um, I usually, if I do something like this, I do swoop it out quite a lot, but Obviously that's not the sort of look that she has, it kind of stops like just where her sort of eye sits or finishes even. And then what I like to do if I look up, I take just a flat bar brush, sorry, so this is the KJ Hughes number 16 and I just pat this out so it's not wet and we don't sort of get any transfer. Then going back into the palette, I'm going to take the next shade over, which is this one. And this is called Fundamental. So I'm going to take it on a smaller brush and just sort of blend that through. So this is the Glisten Cosmetics, this is a number two brush. It's 
very very small and essentially we're just sort of going to draw over the top of where this is and then taking a KJ Hughes this is a number 21 brush I'm just going to blend this through and then going over to the next shade so we're going to deepen this up a little bit we're going to take called essential from the palette which was this one here so a bit of a darker sort of grey just taking a small amount of this just to deepen this up slightly and taking the KJ Hughes this was a number 21 brush so what I can tell from the pictures I think he sort of takes from here and sort of goes around with the eye so I am going to take a little bit on the lash line and then sort of smoke that out later when I do my my lo oh, words, my lower lash line. So taking the KJ Hughes, this is a number 9 brush, we're going to take fundamental first and just add like kind of a little bit of a smoke here. So I'm not taking it all the way in. And then taking the KJ Hughes number 21 brush, I'm just going to... So then from the palette we're going to take Impressive, which is the white shade from the palette. Um, I'm going to take that on a spade, oh my god why was today? The Spectrum and Kate J Hughes, this is a number 20 brush. And we're essentially just going to, oh I think that might be too white, I'm going to take the shade above which was that um, sort of peachy white shade and just, and basically just sort of set this lid. And then that is the eye complete. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to apply mascara, lashes, and obviously do the other eye. So for mascara, I have the Maybelline Sky High, uh, whatever this one is. This is in waterproof. Um, and then for lashes, I think she's got like a bit of a half lash going on. So I'm going to have to sort of have a look around my drawers and see what I can find. Because I don't really have half lashes. But I think I might have sort of a winged out lash that sort of make work so yeah I'm gonna do that we'll be back and do the base okay 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 so other eyes complete and lashes are on so the lashes I'm wearing are from lash dupe and these are called Thlick so these are color they're just black and a uh, curl is C so it's just like kind of like party lashes if you wish um you know a bunch of people do these kiss lashes do them um tighty lashes do them they're just super easy and plus you can sort of customise them to how you sort of want it because I tried a strip lash um, which I'll, I haven't put them back properly um, but they're the Prim Prima Kate Daily Lashes and they just, that was not it, they were too big and I was like I want something a little bit soft because obviously there is quite a lot of detail on the eye and I don't want to, no sorry, there's a, there's a lot of detail but it's quite simple still so I don't want to take away with the lashes. In my head it makes sense. <laughs> so these are what I used because like I said they're customisable so you could stack like the whole three on your eyes if you wanted to. Um, so I just done the two, sorry I'm like rambling, um, but the two like ones here and then the one at the start just to like finish it off basically. Um, see this is what I have so for base makeup I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown this is the vitamin enriched face base um I've never used this before and I think I got it like on sale at some beauty outlet thing and everyone like raves about it and I was like Do you know what let's give this a go so I'm just taking a brush I'm taking the Spectrum and KJ Hughes this is number eight and I'm just gonna put this all over the face so it is a all-in-one primer and moisturizer which I quite like um, I'm not really big on um, primers per se like pore filling or anything like that just don't feel like they all they do a lot um, I'm trying like a few out at the minute but like just to see if I think they're worth it but honestly I don't think they are and then for foundation today I'm gonna take the hourglass this is the Ambi soft glow foundation in 2.5 so I'm just gonna use one and a half pump so I'm just taking that on a little palette and then I'm going to take my um, It Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush and I'm just going to 
basically essentially pat this into the palette and then I just take the brush and just go in and then for concealer today I'm going to take the rose ink I think this is like the hydrating concealer I think they only have one and this is in LX010 um, I don't think I realized um, cover effects have discontinued my um, my favorite ever concealer and I'm literally like heartbroken I've been using it on camera for ages and I didn't realize when they brought out a new because they like revamping all their packaging um, and when they brought out a new concealer I was like oh my god like I, they've discontinued like my one um, so now like I'm on the hunt to obviously find essentially a new concealer one that is very much cover effects um, but yeah like the cover effects power play concealer is what everyone's like tart shape tape is to me like that whole this is the best concealer that's what cover effects was to me and um, I don't think I've ever felt heartbreak like it <laughs> so we're gonna take this one today I've been testing out rose ink uh, products um, sort of on and off camera a little bit so um, yeah the video should be up soon so I'm just gonna take inner corners and then do like this little motion to like um, sort of lift the eye area a little bit on the forehead on the nose here's his eye and then on the chin as well I'll tell you what that holds a lot of product in there like I swiped it and everything and this I don't know if it's got like a big like little dip in it so it's nice that you don't need to dip in twice um yeah so what I like to typically do is I like to just sort of let this sit into the skin a little bit before I go ahead and blend it out so I'm just gonna go and do that then I'm gonna take the hourglass so this is the vanish concealer brush and we're just gonna go ahead and blend this all out then to set my under eyes I'm going to take the Unicorn Cosmetics, this is just their little velour puff and I'm going to take the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish to Blind Perfecting Blurring Under Eye Powder in Light. Uh, so this is literally just going under the eyes. I swear with my eyelashes this side always looks fluffier and this side doesn't. I don't know if it's because of where I place it but I can see like this eye looks really fluffy here and these look just dull. And they're annoying me because they're not right. I'm, I think I'm just going to come back to it later because otherwise I will just sort of sit and play with it for like half an hour. And then my eyes start to run, my makeup starts to get ruined so I can't play with it too much. <laughs> anyway, moving on, we're going to um, contour. So this is the Pink Honey um, Contour Cake in S'mores and Kisses. So I'm going to take a little bit. So basically I can see like my face where the shadow sits here. So I'm just going to add contour there. And I do like to do a little bit like here near the eye. Taking a little bit on the nose. It's a bit rough but I'm literally just going to blow it out anyway. So to blend that out, I'm going to take a crown brush. This is a C436, and try and just to keep this in place. Um, if anything, sort of buff it up. Just take a little bit higher, and I am just going to bake underneath, sort of the contour. So I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown. This is the um, sheer finishing loose powder in pale yellow, and I'm going to take the Volupa. So I just applied like quite a small amount, uh, you can sort of see it slightly. So I've just mainly placed it here and then like a tiny bit on the nose area. So then moving on to bronzer, so I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury, this is the contour wand. This isn't um, a contour wand in my opinion, this is quite warm. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take it as a bronzer. So just going to do that. And then take the same brush that I used to blend out the um, contour with and just blend this through. Then for bronzer today I'm going to take the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Nude Bronze Light 
no sorry the ambient lightning bronzer in nude bronze light um, so I'm going to take that on AKJ Hughes this is a number three brush and essentially just sort of set in the contour uh, the bronzer then for highlighter today I'm going to take the um, Charlotte Tilbury this is the beauty light wand in something spotlight I don't think I said what the contour wand in it is like light medium so I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna take my finger and just pat this out then for blush today for liquid I'm gonna take the rare beauty liquid blush and this is in the shade hope so when I open this up I literally wipe off the excess on the side and just little dot like that and we're good and then I'm going to take the brush that we use for the bronzer to blend out and just blend this out then for powder blush I'm going to go into the uh, Luna Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette and I'm going to take same brush so this was the number three and I think I'm gonna take stargaze from the palette which is this one here then going back into the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take this small one so this is the number 21 and we're gonna take a bit of this shade first because I think this is all I took on the top lash line so I'm just gonna like uh, a little bit under here. So for what I was recording wasn't I literally just put on lower lash mascara. Um so now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the floor bra flaw flawless airbrush finishing powder in Fair 01. And I'm taking it on a KJ Hughes number two brush. I'm just sort of dusting this all over. So to finish it off, I'm going to take the Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray in Pink Grapefruit. Then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Then for lips today, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury. This is in uh, their lip cheat in Pillow Talk. Uh, it's just it's essentially their lip liner. Um, so I'm just going to literally apply this to lip line. Then for lipstick, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. And then this is the completed look. I love how it turned out. Personally, in my opinion, I think I would have gone for a more um, like nude, like a lighter nude or a warm nude rather than something a little bit on the pink side just because my eyes are quite like cool tone warm. Um, and I don't know what it is with pink and like I just I don't know if it matches per se. Um, but I think the lipstick shade's pretty. I think we probably could have gone a little bit lighter, um, especially sort of what she's wearing in the pictures. But I do think we've got quite a good match. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.